Hi, this is Anthony from 5 Second Firearm, and today we're going to take a look at the 9 inch kit. Okay. And what we've got is a 8.5 inch tube with two ends. This is the solid end cap with the center divot. And this is the attachment end cap. Okay, so let's see what we got. The attachment cap. Um, the attachment cap is 18 millimeters thick out of a solid single piece of 6061 T6 aluminum and it does have its bevels on both sides. Uh, we also will give you two fittings. This is the 1 half by 28 that fits right into the end cap. Okay. And you can see where your, your bevel flushes out so that it doesn't block any of your solvent from coming down. So you get no flush back. Nice tight seal. Or, if you like, for those in the uh, 30 caliber family that use the 5 8 by 24, again, this tip fits very, very well. Nice black steel. And we have the 9 16 by 24 coming for 40 cal and 45 cal. You'll see those on the website soon. Okay, so that's the attachment cap. The other end of the tube is the solid end cap. And of course, these also have um, the knurling on them for extra grip when your hands are wet or when you just need that little bit of extra strength to uh, put it on or take it off. This again is a solid piece of 6061 T6 rated aluminum. And you see by the threads, that is a fine thread for high grip under stress. And then on the tube, we have an actual 8.5 inch tube. A completed tube with end caps is 9 inch. And your tube is also 6061 T6 aluminum and of course the threads are fine threads to match and let's take a look on the inside and that's what tells the truth about a lot of tubes that are out on the market today you got a nice polished mirror finish which means an excellent cut through the aluminum okay also in this kit is nine springs these are high tensile steel. These are not aluminum springs. These are steel springs. And we'll talk in just a minute about the compression and the alignment of these springs in your stacking order. Okay? And then we give you nine aluminum cups as well. These are two millimeter thick. Okay? And it does have the screen already bonded to it. And the reason we bond them to the bottom and we leave some open area so that your solvent and your your solvent can drain and your debris stops in the screens but if we did them up here then the solvent would actually plug that up pretty quick with debris and you wouldn't get filtration all the way through the unit so these are actually made with a little bit of a bypass and this screen is stainless steel this is not an aluminum screen it's not a copper screen it's a stainless steel screen okay and some folks like to take these screens off, so just using a knife like that to remove it. And then make a little larger hole if you need better drainage. And then reapply your screen. But we give you nine of these. Now, some manufacturers of aluminum cups actually heat the aluminum up and they pour it in a mold. We do not do that. Uh, because you lose some of the strength of the uh, 1061 aluminum. What we do is we cold stamp them and out of a plate and here's how they come off the plate to us and you can see the blue protector on the plate and then what we do is uh, we actually remove um, the, the the center uh, plate protector okay and that that gives us our cup so for a lot of folks that say hey you know what everything's the same not exactly there's definitely some temperature and some stress rated differences in this and over 24 years, we found that uh, if you cold stamp a plate with a, a press, like a 30-ton press, you get a, a much more solid strength cup. 
So nine of those cups are included in the kit. So uh, let's take a look just a moment at your stacking order. Now I have a, uh, this is a seven inch tube that we've done a cutaway on. So it only has seven cups in it. But this kit, kit will actually have nine cups in it. Okay. And your stacking order is um, on the very end you want one spring. And that's that one spring in the bottom. Now here's what it does. Normally you would have a cup that's flat against an end cap. So these two would operate together and you would get less filtration from the cup. So what we have you do is put one spring down the tube and then squash that spring, okay? And that gives you some air space in here for filtration of this last cup. Okay. <clears throat> so this is the stacking order. And you begin with the one spring and then your stack of cups and then the remainder of the springs. And some folks have asked, uh, you know, hey, what about the spring? Um, won't it lose its, um, its tensile strength? Well, this is high tensile steel, which has a very good memory. And uh, again, you're not expanding the spring, you're compressing the spring. So here's what's happening whenever you compress a spring. You get a very tight coil of steel. Now, this is what we call head space, this distance in here. And headspace can be pretty important um, for your cleaning brush as your stroke comes through. Also, it gives a little bit of expansion space um, for hot liquid and gases if you're cleaning your rifle uh, while it's still warm. Now, we don't recommend a hot clean. Of course, the, the uh, solvent cleaner uh, manufacturers do not recommend that either. But instead of uh, cold cleaning your rifle later at home after you've had it in the truck or in your vehicle, and uh, you're getting the fumes and stuff off of it, it's better to go ahead and clean it uh, before you pack it away. And this gives you the area to do that on a, uh, on a warm uh, rifle cleanup. Now, of course, I've got stainless steel tip in this one, but your kit will include the two black tips for the AR-10 and AR-15. That's the one half by 28 and the five eighths by 24. And again, the, this is the 9-inch kit with 9 aluminum cups brought to you by 5-Second Firearm. Um, also, uh, we like to put in a free sample of mag bands, our choice on the color. But uh, just a little something extra to say, hey, we appreciate your business. Alright, see you in the next video. Bye-bye.